Um, boy, it's very hot in here. Who put the air conditioning in? Labor? <laughs> Peter Garrett, are you up there? <laughs> um, all right, it's time for us to uh, bring up our next uh, act. Uh, it doesn't get any more hippie than this. Um, he's a writer for the Green Left Weekly, a uh, writer for the un-Australian uh, satirical newspaper, and has the least amount of News Corp shares out of all of us. Uh, could you please put your hands together and make welcome to the stage, Carlo Sands. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, Tony. I just wanted to say, Tony, actually, that as far as I'm concerned, you're still captain of my team, Australia, mate. But, just a suggestion for next time. Ask Kevin about that. <laughs> I'm sure we all appreciated your efforts in protecting the borders of Melbourne <laughs> with your border force thing. If you really want to catch all the visa violators in Melbourne, the trick, just invite Liverpool FC back to the MCG. Then they arrest the 90,000 English visa violators who rock up. Just lock the gates, you've got a ready-made detention centre. <laughs> now you'll note what I did there. I made a suggestion to improve Team Australia, make it a bit better. Unlike the negative naysaying arguments we're hearing from the traders over here. Who, if Tony was still in charge, would have already had their citizenship stripped. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to address the elephant in the room. What the hell is Kevin Rudd doing on that team? <laughs> Twice captain of Team Australia? I am sorry. I am sorry. But I will not be lectured on the crimes of Team Australia by that man. I... <laughs> not now or ever. I'm not convinced I've thought this through, the consequences of disqualifying Team Australia. What about the economy? Not the Australian economy, the Cayman Islands economy. <laughs> Heartless bastards. <laughs> Team Australia has been responsible, I don't think we have enough credit for this, we've actually been responsible for some quite incredible cultural achievements. I'm thinking here of some of our great works of fiction, such as Sydney's bus timetables. <laughs> They really got to win a Nobel Prize for Literature as one of the all-time great works of absurdism. <laughs> Fuck waiting for Godot, try waiting for a 413. <laughs> we also have some truly unique contributions, and I don't, we don't recognise this enough, because sure, plenty, plenty of nations out there, they've got their billionaire mining magnates, Gina Reinhart and Clyde Palmer, right? That's famous, like Gina Reinhardt's poem, Our Future, that made headlines right around the world. It did. For example, the London Telegraph said about it, Gina Reinhardt pens world's worst poem. <laughs> Which just goes to show how jealous the other teams are. I believe, truly believe that Clive Palmer, for example, is probably the greatest specimen that really he sums up all that is good in Team Australia. Now, he doesn't just give us a holiday resort on the Gold Coast. No. He gives us a holiday resort on the Gold Coast with giant robotic dinosaurs. <laughs> that these people, these people, I can't actually quite believe, they want to disqualify the one team, the one team, not just on planet Earth, but in the known universe. <laughs> with giant robotic dinosaurs. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> they laugh at Goliath. Other teams say, other nations, they laugh at Goliath. They said, for example, and he said he wanted to rebuild the Titanic. Some people around the world said, mate, you want to rebuild a ship that sunk 100 years ago in the worst maritime disaster in human history, killed more than a thousand people, and you want to turn that into a tourist attraction? What the fuck are you smoking? He's got the Team Australia vision. He's ahead of the curve. He, Clive understands, once global warming melts all the ice, <laughs> he's got an 
unsinkable ship. <laughs> What's more, what is more, at the same time, rising sea levels, you're going to have large numbers of desperate people. They're not going to be laughing then. They're not laughing then. They'll be begging Clive for a spot in that ship. They'll be begging him. And do you know the first question Clive Palmer will ask? Are you part of Team Australia? <laughs> They're fucked. <laughs> and when the time comes to vote to disqualify or keep Team Australia, I hope you vote for common sense and for your own future. Thank you. Uh.